Okay, folks, just want to give you an update. So, currently, I've taken it out of the um, Corsair 900D. It looks so empty and sad. So, I've been testing it thoroughly, um, just with um, the Corsair RM1000 um, connected, so everything's connected. <coughs> Obviously, there's no loop going. There's nothing cooling this at all. So currently, um, and you know, don't worry about that. That's the second CPU just kind of laid there. It's just kind of stripped off the um, uh, the Ray XS PC water block, so that I can see what's going on. Anyway, I had a interesting development. Let's see. So okay, so this is the power supply. Okay, you can see that there. Oh, it's off at the moment. So this is what happens when I switch it on. Watch for, watch for where are we? Watch for these lights and that light there. So in this area, okay. And three, two, one. Nothing, okay. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. It dies, okay. So um, I'm going to take the second CPU out, <coughs> and then, uh, well, you just wait till what happens. So this CPU was in there, <coughs> so obviously I just kind of swapped it out, and I've just tried it, and it seems to work. But I just want to try it on video again, <coughs> so I'm using my voice. Um, so yeah, one CPU only, so on CPU one slot, no CPU there. Forget about the RAM for now. I just want to see if it boots up. Look for any action over here. Okay, and three, two, one. Okay, that's okay. Put the power switch on. Look, magic. Fucking boots. Switching off. Huh. Although they only said zero, zero. Hmm. Try one more time. Yeah, you can't. Can you see that saying zero, zero? Right, so what I'm going to do is put. CPU one, well that wasn't one, into here, and then see if it still boots. Because if it still boots, then I know for sure it's a CPU problem and not a motherboard problem. Try and do this quite tricky. See if it still boots up now. Okay, three, two, one. No. Okay, so we know it's a motherboard issue. Right, another update. Um, so, this is with the original setup, but with obviously the CPU missing. So this was, was the original CPU in CPU slot one. And CPU slot two is down, because whenever I put another CPU in there, the thing just doesn't boot. And that's an issue, but we'll get to that when we get to that. Right now, I um, hope, I wanna see if I repeat the whole zero zero thing again. Because um, when I put CPU, this is confusing. When I put that CPU in there, that would give me a zero zero. I'll highlight that again in the video. So I want to know what, ha what happens now when I put <coughs> the original CPU back in and uh, see if anything else changes. So three, two, one, go. Now you see, this one's giving me a digital readout. This one's giving me a number. See? Switching off. Don't want to burn out. So that's weird. Now, have I got a faulty CPU? Have I got a faulty CPU? Unless I buy another one, put it in there. Okay, I can test it out. I've got a next 79 board spare, as as you do. Well, that's it for now. Um, but yeah, interesting. Interesting indeed. <clears throat> okay, this is strange. I wanted to test the... Um, Xeon chips in a um, Gigabyte um, X79 UDD3 motherboard I have, I just happen to have lying around. Now, I switched it on and it does this. Now before you ask, yes, I have tried the Xeons in this motherboard before 
and it was fine. So because when I got the Xeons first, I got them first, I didn't have the motherboard, so I tested it on this motherboard and it's working fine. Now it seems like the chips, well one of the chips at least, is busted. Now this leads me to believe that both the chips are busted now because um since the last since my last video uh, update, um both any combination of those two chips just don't work. I managed to boot it up once with um a combination of one CPU and one graphics card, two memory slots, and that was it. And I and I wish I recorded the screen, but it booted up saying um, "fatal error," and I can't remember was it "fatal error" and "halting." I think it said. Now, now I didn't. Now, you know, I took that seriously, but then I didn't think it would fry um, the, the um, Xeons. Now I don't know if the motherboard fried it. Or because I don't know what else could fry it. I really don't know what's going on here. It's really weird. So um, yeah. So as you can see, it just keeps doing that. I'm about to try the other chip um, in here. I'm not going to put the fan in because that just took too long. And uh, yeah, let's see how it goes. But this looks like a full TZ on to me. Okay, peeps. So this is the. Um, second chip in second Xeon chip now initially I tested it without the CPU cooler just to see if it would actually turn over and it did so I very quickly shut that down and put the um, cooler master back on and um, it boots up and it's fine so if I can go to this screen oops, switch off that it's a bit better go to that screen and then you can see temps a bit high but I'm not worried about that um, that's just well within reason um, and if, if I go to MIT uh, as you can see, it recognizes it as a Xeon 2670 at 2.6 GHz, update revision, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, everything's cooking fine. You know, it, the CPU um, CPU is fine. This one is anyway. So, um, one thing I did kind of flag, I did, well, you guys might know better than I will. So, let me kind of get a close up of this. So, the CPU that doesn't work, all right, the CPU that doesn't work, can you see? Just there, on the top, just top left there. Oop, bend my head. Um, some, um, not pins. What do you call them? Well, you know what these little points that are actually discolored. They look like they look like they're bent or fried or something. You know, isn't that weird? I, I compared it side by side with the other one, and they don't have this discoloration. So. I don't know where they come from. I don't know how they could get like that. Um, when this when this freak thing happened, um, it was off one night. Came back like 24 hours later. Um, switched it back on, and, and all this shit has been happening. Um, I did get a response from Asus um, this morning, so around uh, what 10 a.m. something like that. Um, um, 10 a.m. and it basically said the usual stuff. You know, take the CPU, um, no, take the um, pins out and uh, take the battery out and push the power button down for 30 seconds and what kind of stuff. Did all that. I mean, I'm not new, but you know, fine. Did it. I did it properly. I didn't take any shortcuts. And uh, yeah, so I emailed them back saying that doesn't work. Um, I tweeted Asus UK and they said. No, well, they're basically useless, so I'm not happy about that. So, uh, yeah, um, it will continue. At least I got a response from Asus. And um, I'm playing my cards close to my chest, but, uh, yeah, this is, sorry, this is the, the this, this is not the Asus board. Obviously, this is the Gigabyte board, which is how it happens. I just happen to have lying around. But, yeah, so that's it in a, in a nutshell. Um, and more to come, I guess. Uh, more testing, I think. Um, but the main board just seems to be having a right old field day. Right old paddy, as they say. Okay, that's it for now. Laters.